videos are circulating online of Luhan, an e-girl on TikTok going viral for posting videos while on active duty in the army that all seem to paint serving in the military in a very glamorous way, but many are pointing out that her specific unit is for PSYOPs, with her insignia being for the Psychological Operations Command. But Luhan makes this no secret as she openly posts that she is a PSYOP specialist, which makes sense. If the army gets an NFL Giga Chad like Pat Tillman, of course they're going to utilize him in a special unit like the Rangers, and rest in peace Corporal Tillman. So in the rare event a pretty girl like Luhan enlists, of course they're going to utilize her as a PSYOP specialist. Even Tulsi Gabbard was in that same PSYOPs command as well. And Luhan even leans into the whole, she's just a glowing PSYOP narrative. What if it was the best glow job you've ever had in your life? I know you want one. I am the glow goat. Because using pretty girls to recruit for the military is nothing new, as this video is actually directly from the Israeli Defense Force's official TikTok account. And the US government has always implemented pop culture to recruit, as back in 2007 they used Halo 3 as a recruiting tool. And even back in 1986, the movie Top Gun was largely an effort for recruitment into the US Navy, using whatever this was. So just like Shoe on Head promotes liberalism, Pokimane promotes certain video games, why wouldn't the US Army utilize Luhan to promote a cool, fun lifestyle in the armed forces? Although on Instagram, Luhan explicitly states they are not allowed to practice PSYOPs on American civilians. But straight from the US Army website, they state Luhan's position trains her to be an expert at persuasion to influence specific audiences. Then on the Betaverse's podcast, she explains that her superiors know about her activity on TikTok, but try to remain willfully ignorant. Uh um, the lower enlisted at my unit, like everybody knows I do TikTok and whatever. But as far as like, you know, our commander and like our first sergeant and all that, um, I never like brought it up to them. And I don't know if anybody has, but while we were overseas, like I started talking to them about it and they were just kind of like, like they were like, don't tell us about it. So yes, utilizing a skill set the army gave you while on active duty to post on a Chinese social media app to gain an influencer's following probably goes against the UCMJ. But as long as it benefits the army, I highly doubt they're going to stop her. Because let's be clear, US Army recruitment has reportedly fallen 25%, with the Air Force, Marines, and Navy also experiencing issues. Despite the fact the army provides transition services for soldiers, despite the fact that they're focusing on understanding white rage, despite the fact that soldiers may end up having to go on food stamps to combat inflation, and despite the fact they're taking away weight limits on recruits. Somehow, their best efforts are alienating the average army recruit. So is opening the simp to service pipeline a viable option? Because I personally don't think this was overtly planned. I just look at Luhan's TikTok and see her military posts seem to perform better. So I imagine she's just like anybody trying to grow a social media audience, she's just gonna lean into what's performing best. But I bet it is working on getting some lonely aimless guy that will somehow think joining the army is a great way to meet chill, quirky, attractive girls. So why would the military shut her down, especially how desperate they are right now? Because let's be clear, Biden seems to be steering us down the path of conflict, and China isn't playing games. And looking at the training their youth receives, I don't know how our army matches up, especially when their kids are learning to operate rocket launchers and mortars. So again, not the most serious topic, but it really does highlight some of the real world issues we're facing right now. So if you appreciate being informed on current events with my concise lighthearted commentary, hopefully I've earned your subscription and you can help us get to 100,000 ducks. And then be sure to check out my video on the insane video game levels of crime in New York City as they're likely hiding it from you.